Hey, how's it going everyone? This is DCH381 and today I'm very happy and excited to be doing a review for this SH Figuarts the Metal Cooler from Dragon Ball Z. And here it is. Oh my goodness. This is just pure beauty when you look at that. I'm almost gotten blind by the shininess of it. <laughs> so let's check out the box again. Wow, I just love the picture that they choose right over here. And of course you can see the goodie inside this windows box and you can even see the wording here metal cooler the side of it we can see some pictures of the metal cooler and this side of the box we can see the wording metal cooler is pretty hard to see again and the back of the box we can see all the beautiful pictures of this metal cooler as you can see if you are rich enough you can even buy a few to build the army wow this is rather cool and this is the asia version which is why you have this sticker right over here so Let's get him out. Okay, so this is Metal Cooler right out of the box. Very excited, very beautiful, yet feel a little bit disappointed because the moment that I pick him up, ah, oh, <laughs> my dream are crushed because it feels very light like some kind of bootlegs that i'm getting ah uh, even though i do hope that there are some die cuts which i know is going to happen but i do hold some hopes but <laughs> this is very very light i just enjoy the beauty for now wow just take a look at it uh although i didn't you know wear any glove i know some of the collectors do wear gloves for handling such a beauty but i did wash my hand earlier on just to make sure it's not oily or things like that yeah perhaps if you are a sweaty person you might want to do that as well you really don't want any sweat to be getting on this beautiful surface wow just take a look at it it's very shiny i just love how they actually you know uh, do some different things here at the arms you can see there are some um silverish and here are all the chrome and here is the silver and just look at the face wow it's rather hard to see but if you look close enough you can see uh the facial expressions there and oh okay <laughs> i always forgot about this uh plastic to remove yeah wow it's really really nice even here you can see the i actually put a different material here and even the arms very nice and his back oh sorry i haven't put the tail on and that's why you can see a hole there wow this is really really nice uh just unfortunate it is <laughs> very like a little bit disappointed but i think that's still okay okay so let's put on his tail as you can see right over here so uh there are uh, directions to put on you can just put it any way you want because you can see the hole here uh there is some uh points here at the lower end so even for the tail you can see there are this thing here so this one is actually at the bottoms so this is how you put it in yep very fitting and the tails do have articulation as well so wow this looks much better with the tails on and next we'll move on to the articulation i'll start with the head so you can look to the right looks to the left and let's see how well you can look up yep pretty good looking down is even better so you have a separate net together so you can actually move it however you want to for his arm there is a piece on the shoulder that you can actually move it up yep be very careful about that of course you can also move up his arm let's see a yeah, i think slightly more than 90 degrees there okay so moving it around is possible be very very careful about it as you can see mine is rather tight and there is a butterfly joint so let's see how well we can move forward uh yep pretty good as well you can see that it's very very tight so just be very careful there is a bicep shiver as well so you can actually do that and let's see double joint elbow and then his hand you can actually twist this around uh moving up and down just a little bit and his torso let's take a look here so there is one whole piece here which looks pretty cool but i'm not sure <laughs> what is it for so i think he have an articulation at the lower torso so you can actually do a little bit of swivering yeah be very careful not to scratch off any pain and his uh waist i believe you can actually turn it around 
Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, just a little bit. This piece is very nice, but it's also kind of hindering there. So let's see how well he can bend forward, which I believe not much because of this thing here. And I also don't want to scratch it. Yeah, so it's pretty much like this. And bending backwards is uh, not much because of this piece as well. Okay, so for his leg, let's see if there's any pull down mechanism. Uh, nope, but let's see. Kicking forwards. Wow, okay. About 90 degrees there, not too bad. Kicking backwards is, uh, yeah, just slightly not much. And there is no cut on the tights, but you still can do a little bit of shivels here. And for the legs, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, I think this is a double joint knee now. Yeah, this is a double joint knee. It's very, very nice. And also his leg, you can actually shivers around, going up and down. And there isn't any toe hinge for this guy here. Let me see. Yeah, there isn't any. And <laughs> let's do a split. Okay. Wow. Hard to believe that he can do a perfect split there. Yep. Very, very nice. And his tail is, I think, one of the most articulated tails I can find. Yep, so there's one articulation here at the at the uh where he connects to the body. Yep, very nice. Of course you can turn it oh sorry, you can't turn it around because yeah there's something there. So you can only going up and down. Let's see. No, you can't turn it. So there is also an articulation here that uh doesn't allow you to turn as well because uh yeah it makes no sense to turn because of the back is like that, the bottoms, and here is all chrome. So there is another one here, but this time, oh, this time around, you can actually turn, not here, but this portion, you can turn it around, but it's very, very tight. And another portion here, wow. And at the end of the tail, another one. So there is one, two, three, four, five articulations, five points of articulations for this tail alone. Yeah, this is rather, Nice. And next, we'll move on to the accessory. I will start with the hands as always. So he just comes with a pair of closed fist hands that's already on the figure, a pair of relaxed hands, a pair of grabbing hands, a pair of open palms hands, a pair of finger pointing hands, a pair of non straightened foot where you can actually place him standing on a stone or maybe even during a uh, flying pose, a left shoulder plus a left hands whereby he's uh, actually generating his arms when it was broken up and he just comes with three more interchangeable heads this one with the smirking face this with the grinning teeth and lastly this with the open mouth so as you can see this frieza just comes with uh, not that many accessory but at least I kind of like they given us more heads. Okay, I do find out something very interesting. That is, they do give us an uh, instruction sheet. They have not been doing this uh, for quite some time now. I mean, they used to do this. Uh, recently, they actually changed all the instructions to be imprinted on the box itself at the sleeve. Yeah, but now they are giving us back. So it makes me wonder whether this metal cooler is actually an old product whereby they have already you know, uh, produce it and print all this out, but somehow they are holding it back for releases and now only they release it. Yeah, it just make me feel that way. <laughs> now let's try to put on some of the accessory onto him. I will start with the hands as always. So you just need to pull it out like this and just plug in back in. Yep, very easy. As for the foot, it's going to be the same and just plug it back in as simple as that and the same goes for interchanging the heads whereby you can see there is a slot there so you just need to put it back in like this and to interchange this arm into here so you just need to remove it uh, slowly i'm kind of scared now actually so let's see how it's done uh okay you can see clearly there's a joint there yep and for his arm as well yep so this is how it looks like for the inner joint so you need to plug in the hands first yeah there's a, a pack there so you just need to put it in slowly okay and followed by this piece okay yeah so it's in now 
So this is how he looks like with his arm regenerating. Just one like from you will make me very happy. Okay, so for the size comparison, I like to start off with some SH3 Quest Dragon Ball. I do have this Goku the Saiyan race on Earth and also this new Super Saiyan Vegeta. And next, I like to compare with his brother Frieza. This is the full form Frieza which is small <laughs> and also this golden Frieza which is even smaller. Oh my god. And of course, I like to compare him with himself which is the final form cooler. And also the perfect form cell. Yep, this looks very good together. And if you do wonder how he scales with other brands, uh, I do have Mayfax uh, Iron Man Mark 85 here, as well as this Jada Toys Evil Ryu. Okay, so my final verdict for this metal cooler is wow, as you can see, it looks very nice in terms of the overall look. The chrome doesn't disappoint me, the articulation is pretty good. The accessory, yes, is kind of limited, but I'm kind of glad that they actually give the regenerating arm that's pretty thoughtful of them to give us that. And as for the skill, I was thinking that he could be very small, like the final form Frieza, but fortunately, he is much taller than that. So, yeah, that's pretty good as well. But because he's a Tamashii Nation exclusive, so he is a bit expensive. But I'm still strongly recommending this piece, especially if you are Dragon Ball Z fans. This is one piece that you shouldn't miss. It's, it's gonna stand out in your shelf. I mean, if you are having a little bit more budget, you can even buy a few of them, believe me. That will look very very cool in your collections. So I do hope that you enjoyed my review and I certainly hope that it helps you to decide whether you should get this guy and the answer is a big yes. And I'll catch you guys again in my next video. Now you are going to watch this video over here.